Chuck. Thanks for stopping back by the channel. I'm going to try filming a little different today. Uh, this may be a failure. Um, I know my Keith Rucker video of that build didn't turn out very well. I have to apologize for that one. Yeah, the parts turned out okay, though, after two tries. So today, uh, today's video is uh, a recap of the build that's over my shoulder there, the right roller. Uh, rollers. There's two of them. Just put that one behind me so you can see it. Uh, I uh, bought the kit eh, five years ago to support Keith. I got my Keith Rucker hat on here. And uh, you notice I have my other t-shirt on from Comp Edge, uh, Colin. The reason I've got Colin uh, here, one, he's my bud, but he, uh, he built uh, the right rollers and did some videos, as did Keith. And uh, so I thought I'd mention that. It's another place where you can go to watch the build. Uh, my video I'm presenting you today uh, is a bunch of snippets that I put on Instagram. So I'm going to have some discussion about different parts of the build. There's various ways you can do things here. And uh, I hope you'll find it enjoyable and some information. I'm uh, just not of the nature of, you know, showing you a 40-minute video and... 10 minutes of drilling or something, you know, I just, uh, I, I can't do that anymore. Uh, but uh, I hope you enjoy, and uh, this uh, this method, I'm trying to do the filming on my computer, so hopefully we're solving the voice issues that I seem to have also. So we'll try it. Um, the uh, When you purchase the kit from uh, Keith, you get plans, and there's uh, a list of materials, and you have all of the... Uh, the raw materials to build the unit. Um, you have, you do have to uh, machine them to length uh, and dimension, and then uh, assembly is uh, up to the builder. Um, Keith and his build um, basically welded everything. Uh, Colin and his build uh, welded and bolted, and I chose a combination of the both. And although different than what they did a little bit. Um, I had a lot of fun building it, and uh, let's uh, let's move on to the uh, actual uh, start of the video here. So the the first little snippet I'm going to show you is uh, the pins, and is here right on the lathe behind me. Um, had it in the chuck, and I used uh, a bomb's little method he showed the other day of putting a a um, parallel behind the part in the chuck so that you could set your distance and then repeat. And uh, it worked out well, so uh, let's uh, click over to that and see how it works. This video here shows uh, the pivot blocks being machined to the correct height, squaring up the blocks and uh, machining them to the the uh, the height, which is uh, 2.25. So, just got a uh, cutter in there in the mill and getting them ready. Blocks are uh, done. I've already drilled the 5 8 hole, and uh, now I'm using a 5 8 reamer to uh, complete the hole. Was, I didn't drill a 5 8 hole. I drilled undersize, of course, and, uh, and finishing up with the reamer. And uh, you can see the various blocks. And I've also done the uh, pivot block um, and reamed those all also. Just uh, trying for a production setup. I'm using a stop on the left side of the vise there. You can see the spring holding the parallels. And you can see the mess. Uh, I didn't clean up any uh, messes. I kept continuing on. The uh, pins ended up fitting uh, nice and tight. And the finish was good. So I was happy with that. Now we're over at the uh, belt grinder, and uh, the pivot blocks uh, have a radius on them. And so you can see where I've actually used the uh, belt grinder to put the uh, radius in. I had marked them up with a uh, radius gauge, and real simple. Did the uh, same thing to the other blocks also, and uh, they turned out well. And you can see how they fit with inside the tube. So I was happy with that, and you can see a pin in one of the blocks there also. 
So that worked out well, and the belt grinder worked out fantastic for that. Here I'm cutting the top slot in the tube, which is the clearance for where the bearings ride. The, uh, here I'm working off a of center, so basically I uh, made a plunge at center, went to the right to my final dimension, and then go back to the left. Everything I was working off was uh, basically center and uh, using the stop uh, on the uh, edge of the uh, vise. Uh, and here I'm just showing you, I'm using the DRO and uh, working it out. I've uh, drilled the uh, holes in the tube and here I'm reaming them to size. Got the uh, 5 8 and quarter inch. And here I'm showing the radius that uh, has to be done in the tube. And I, here's my setup that I have in the mill where I have spaced the part off of the back or the front jaw, back jaw, the front jaw of the vise, <laughs> and was up on some blocks and went in with a end mill, 7 8 end mill, and created the uh, radius, the bottom radius that needed to be done. Now we're over at the belt grinder again. You can see my layout on the tubes, and I've got to get the uh, two radiuses tangent. And so you can see my marks and uh, basically just used the belt grinder and just uh, walked it right on in there. Turned out just perfect. Really, really happy with it. And uh, they turned out real clean. See some of my layouts and marks there. You do have to do some deburring on everything, of course. That's uh, just part of a build. And uh, let's see. Oh, here's uh, just showing turn right 15. And this was a mock-up. So at this point, I haven't done any welding or assembly, but I just kind of mocked it together to see uh, how I was doing. And uh, the fit-up seemed really well. Uh, you can notice that pin's too far back because it's not even set in there yet. Uh, just checking myself. And uh, we're going to move on to, uh, let's see, I'm showing the welding of the pivot block. And uh, using a uh, fireball square there that's magnetic. I've already uh, welded, this was my setup, and I'm welding the pin in that uh, small block there. Just a nice little fusion weld, uh, didn't go crazy on welding, and uh, that worked out really well. And here's the end of the uh, tube with the block welded in place. Again, fusion welds, just not a ton of heat in there, they're not going to go anywhere. And uh, that turned out real well, too, for my assembly. Uh, these are the pivot blocks. I decided to bolt them. I've already laid it out, drilled and tapped. And uh, I was going up to show you something there on my mill, but uh, basically power tapping them. And uh, that turned out uh, really well also. And another uh, mock-up uh, of the units showing you that they're all assembled now. They pivot real nice, really happy with that. And uh, rolls real nice, everything's, everything's really good. I'm very, very happy with it. And uh, they're ready for just final deburring and, and uh, assembly, final assembly. There you can see I, how I bolted them from the bottom, uh, the uh, blocks. Turn right 15. Hey. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. As I said, it was a lot of snippets. It's not a really how to build, um, but it kind of showed the progression that I went through. Um, as I mentioned, I, uh, I work off to center so that I had repeats as I moved parts. Um, the way I set up my DRO on my mill is the left uh, corner front uh, left front corner is zero zero on my DRO so it uh, really uh, makes it quick not have to measure a lot of things just use the DRO but uh, although I did do layout so that I had a check but anyway I hope you enjoyed the quick video here um, I had fun build I'm glad I finally got it done uh, somebody on Instagram asked me um, uh, do you have a job form <laughs> I got so many tools here that are still in the cabinet waiting for a job for them. Uh, I'm of the mindset you got to have them so when the job comes uh, you're ready to go. So uh, they'll be in the tool crib waiting for a uh, call to duty and uh, but I'm real happy with them. Um, just let's see get you in the camera here just 
you know, I painted them up. That's the bottom. They're already getting already getting dirty. Um, I will. Uh, I ended up with a little more end to end clearance than uh, per the drawing by. Hmm, I forget the actual dimension. You're, I think you're supposed to have sixty three thousandths on each side, and I think I'm. I got an extra twenty on both sides, or something like that. Um, but all in all, they rotate well. Um, everything about them turned out really. I don't know if I'm in the screen or not. I can't see. But anyway, enough of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm glad you stopped by the shop. Uh, pay me a visit. Really appreciate it. We did, uh, as a family, get to sneak away to the lake and use our boat that you've seen in the background. Uh, that was real, uh, real nice. And uh, if I can, I might even add a photo on the end of this video of it, or at least of the lake. Um, again, thanks a lot. Uh, check out uh, Keith and uh, Colin's videos. Uh, they're they're good build videos. Just you know, there's just a variety of ways you can do things. That's that's the bottom line. All right, bless you and take care. Be healthy and uh, catch you on the next one.